Should be. Thank you. I, I never, I never let strangers get out of town. Have a holiday. Brilliant. Don't know what to bring this book over. Oh yeah, I, I did write you. You can leave first. Thank you. Thanks for your hospitality. Well, I'm coming out of your place. You can <laughs> reciprocate when I get there. Mate. Anybody coming with me? I'm going. I know we are in, in cabin three. Mm -hmm. Just a lucky guess. <laughs> you see, nothing about young people amazes me. Some of the basic principles that made us all human. And that, that's what worries me. Somewhere it's being lost. Broadly speaking, we've lost religion because we know now. It's such a stupid complex a concept. How could anybody with half a brain believe it? And that one grain of sand would develop dinosaurs. Humans have got all the g g genes of, a, of an earthworm. There's got to be a father and there's got to be a punishment. Be good, up, bad, down. Uh, this whole concept of a god. There is no god. There is nothing in any concept of heaven or hell that could exist without the consent of man. It cannot be. What they call soul is those last couple of genes in the depths of the ocean around the, the, the spouts of... We know what the world's about. Think of that grain of sand. He sends a satellite travelling for 12 years at 43 thousand miles an hour, 12 years to get to Jupiter, and light travels at 360,000 miles per second, and we'll send it out into our galaxy, the speed of light. I've got a message here. Get stuffed. Right. I'm going to send a message back, and up yours too. What are we, what are we talking about? So tell me about university people, what do you think? I mean, honestly, well, I think they've got the potential to be conversations. And in our sixth week, we're going to ask a new question. 
So, Jack, what do you do? Fog you. Fog you too. I come from stock that tracks back to Captain Cook's family. You know, uh, it, it, it's staggering. Related to Captain Cook, related to Bob Hawke. Mind you, I can't quite see that. The other day, yeah, I really They have a terrified Flumies. We won't stand up, man. We'll stand up. Flumies are the forever loving order of madly infatuated ex sweethearts. Can you imagine? What it'll be like? My caravan will be wrecked in a week. Means I'm drowning in my own body fluids. Damaged lungs, smoked for 50 years, 55 years. <sighs> the damage. <sighs> oh, you're right. So what uh, is this? As long as I lie, as often as I want to. Well, I think it's in front of a camera you should. The more the better. Because <laughs> this is history. You make history. I mean, me. look. You know, have you got a loose scalp like that? Well, I'm getting there, but... Can you I, move your ears, you know? No, my old man can move my ears. My and flare your nostrils and do it all at the one time. I love it. Parallels. Double parallels. That is not sort of big one. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. One hundred miles on the edge. That's my life. Then. Five basic shots. What an interesting life I've spent. This was the impression of hit, uh, hitting the mark. But you must hold the bottle. Look at this. Look, officer. I, I just staggered out of the alley. I heard this commotion. And he was just lying there, dead, bleeding at me. God. Oh, 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 that's him, that's him, that's a knife, that's a knife he used. Ah! Oh, God, um, I'm not letting you bite me more, you go, man, as I did.